This is the final whistle podcast from the Wrexham AFC media team. Right, we've had seven added minutes, but there will be more, obviously. The ball's not long. Flicked on as well. Kadja will keep it in. Can he put the cross in? Mendy's got close to him. Kadja delivers into the goal mouth. Good defending by O'Connell there. And that's the final whistle. Wrexham win 2-1. A day of scrappy wins for the teams at the top, isn't it? Notts County dig in and just about win at Torquay. And then Wrexham dig in despite conceding an early equaliser and get that result at Altrincham. It was a not a five-star performance, I think it's reasonable to say, but you've got to show heart as well as quality to go up. Wrexham, after a first half in which they were at best, well, equal if not second best, uh, in the second half turned her up a little bit and took the lead, a brilliant finish by Ollie Palmer, cushioning the ball and then slamming it in with his left foot on the pivot from the corner of the six-yard box. But Welch Hayes equalised with a strike from the edge of the area with ten minutes left and it looked like Wrexham had lost the momentum after going ahead, would be punished. But Wrexham came forwards and after a corner was hit against a post by Dolby and his follow-up shot was brilliantly saved by Byrne, there was debutant Owen O'Connell to smash it with power through the middle and clinch the win. Wow. It was, it was hard work, but you know, never, never mind the quality, feel the points. Yeah, 100%. Uh, take that. Um, and party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, it's, it was typical sort of recent Wrexham performance in that um, it would be hard to pick one player that really stood out, but mm. all of them played really well. And we dug in and showed character when we needed to, really, didn't we? Because, yeah. quite frankly, Altrincham did well in the first half. We didn't impose ourselves. We found it hard to get our passing rhythm going. Um, but we came out to start the second half and, and were aggressive and, and on the front foot. That was one of our toughest fixtures I've seen Wrexham mm-hmm. play this season. I think all credit to Altrincham, I must say, because yeah. they play some really nice football. They went toe-to-toe with us football-wise mm-hmm. and, you know, kept on battling through and they got their goal to equalise, but it just shows this Wrexham side are so resilient and the Davidson got the goal. So happy for him and so happy for the team. Yeah, brilliant stuff for him, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> to be able yeah. to step up and, and strike like that in his first match decisively. He's a hero already. But he looks a good player as well, doesn't he? He looks a quality centre-back. Yeah, he looked like a Royals, Royals Royce centre-back. <laughs> uh, really good on the ball. Fast, strong, experienced. Um, he's played for big clubs before. He's not going to be phased uh, for playing for Wrexham. So, yeah, I, I for me, I, he was man of the match. Yeah, I would go along with that, actually. I think yeah. he's he's made a decisive difference with the goal as well as defending well. So, unless Bill raises an objection, we'll go with him as man of the match. Yeah, why not? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they, um, and, and, you know, we were put under pressure by Notts County, by them winning. Yeah. When we let that equaliser in, well, you, you need to have a bit of character to step up and and show that you, you're not phased by that, and that's exactly what we did. And not just the fact that they won today, they've won... There's three games in a row that they've won yeah. to go ahead of us. With but you know, obviously we've got the games in hand. Um, that's a lot of pressure for a team to be under, isn't it? Mm, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, happy days. Good guys. <laughs> We're happy. And Mendy came back on the pitch as well. Good to see him back from injury. Yeah, yeah. It, it was just a really tough, tough game today, and mm. one of them where we could have easily got uh, could could have been talking about a draw right now, but we've got the win, and you've got to be happy with that. It's just it. Mm. The, no, I for me these scrappy wins are just as important, and you know, they make me just as happy as a, a dominant one. More yeah. important and more happy, I think, yeah. because you feel like you've earned it. Then, don't you? It, sh- it just shows how resilient this team is, and we can win anyway. Absolutely you're right. Let's hope Paul Johnson's okay. The one yeah. dark cloud as he got injured and had to come off in the first half, but hopefully he's all right. Anthony Ford, of course, missing the game because his wife had a baby, and so. Yep, good stuff. Wrexham went. That's the most important thing. We go on to Sheffield now to have some fun in midweek, no matter how the game goes. It's fun, isn't yeah. it? Let's be honest. Yeah. Excellent stuff. We'll watch out for all the usual things. The Final Whistle podcast, all that malarkey uh, will be coming out about this game. The highlights uh, we can put out at half ten today, I think it is, if I remember correctly, depending on how quickly I can edit them, of course. <laughs> and indeed, how quickly I can get my hands on the footage in the first place. But they tend to be quite good with that. Um, and then... Yeah, we'll be doing it all again Tuesday night for that crazy match at Bramall Lane. 
Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's been fun, hasn't it, chap? Sort of. It certainly has. Eventually, it was fun. Yeah. That's the most <laughs> yeah, important thing. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, with the final score of Altrincham 1, Wrexham 2, we've been Mark Griffiths, Che Long, and Bill Long from Wrexham AFC. This is the final whistle podcast from the Wrexham AFC media team. <laughs>